All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to change the pace today, and this is not going to be a paid creations today. We're going to look at a free creations today. This is the player home, The Stretch. We are in Aquila, and if you look here, when you come in from the starport, this is just zooming straight over here to the left. You acquire the apartment over in front of the core, another apartment you can get, player home, uh, the guy standing right in front of it. And this one's the cheaper of the two. I want to say it's 45,000 credits in game. And we're going to check it out. Uh, so funny story. I did not know who Eleonora was when I did her Crimson Fleet Hab tour. I'm just like, ooh, pirates. I got to do it. Uh, apparently, this is what she's famous for. Uh, player homes, decorating the homes, creating them. Uh, I can tell you there are things in here that I'm almost positive we don't have access to in the... Uh, de in the decorations mode in outposts and whatnot. So, uh, very cool. Let's go check out and see uh, see what she did with the job. All right, make sure I'm backed up here. So I love this touch. Uh, bes besides the fact that you get some unlimited storage containers, that's fantastic. I love how, and I don't know how she did it, but notice how that's a workbench, that's a workbench, that's a workbench, and that's a workbench. And it looks fantastic. Why can't we do this in Game Todd? We, why, why? Why can't I do this? Why do they all have to be giant machines? I want to incorporate them into workstations. That's amazing. And it looks so right. Like, look at all the clutter. I'll try to do it so that uh, you don't see all the... I mean, just look at all the way the clutter... It, this looks like a functioning work dock, uh, bench. And what the hell is that thing? There's all kinds of stuff that I'm 99% positive we do not have in the decorate mode that she probably pulled from Starfield's uh, game files. Was that Ryojin? Oh, so you got a display shelf that you can still uh, put your things on how you like. Man, I can tell you from doing decorate myself, getting things way up in these shells uh, in the decorate mode is a nightmare. So I'm guessing she, by having access to the back end, she was able to get in there. Because it's like there's like an invisible wall part way th back there, so it's really hard to inset. She did a great job on that. Ah, I like the touches up there. Same with inside of this. Getting things... Uh, that's glass. That would be impossible to get things in there. This lower... Sh nope, that's glass too. You wouldn't be able to put things in there, but she did. Amazing. <laughs> Sandwiches. I love the uh, glass front. That's great. I watched a little bit of one of her uh, lives, and uh, she does like her sandwiches. Damn, look how detailed that is. That's amazing. I love this little e eating nook. It's great. Cora would love this bookshelf. Good thing we can kick her out and keep her away from here. Alright. I think we got some extra... Yep. Some extra big storage. I love how she put the weapons just kind of... Like we would. I mean, honestly, we would probably place things in there like that. You got a helmet stand. Got yourself some uh, display rags. Oh, that's, how, that's cool how she did that. Nice.
That looks like a contraband box to me. Nice, uh, unlimited safe there. And I checked this for me. I don't see anything functional. Maybe it's not supposed to be functional. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments if you get this, if it works for you. Could be some setting I have that makes it not work. That's cute. Putting a pillow on it. That's, co that's cool. Oh, wait. Like, you can actually put... Oh, that's cool. Big storage. God, I love how she puts stuff behind the glass. It's so cool. Even doing this. Like, so you got a table there, right? In the decorate mode. Just trying to get these things, uh, these uh, um, board games, underneath something is so difficult. It's just... It's, and do I, I don't know how she even did all this. That's great. All right, let's check out the boudoir. I mean, I don't know about you, but that looks exactly like a bookshelf would look, like a nightstand would look in my house or something like that. It She, she does so well at making it look like that's someone just lives here and it's and it's you now another unlimited got a lot of unlimiteds that's great so I looked at the empty one I think she changed this glass here because it comes out to like right here on the empty one and this isn't as long it's to like here so I'm guessing she stretched it in the file I think that works better than it did before because it was weird. There was like this big empty chunk here where this didn't come out and this glass came to like right there. I think this looks outstanding. What do we got in here? Oh, wow. First aid. Ah, no, no, no limited first aid. God, such a nice job. And this sink, I don't even, I don't even think where she even got that sink from. One of these days, it'd be cool if these mirrors worked and actually reflected what armor you have on, you know? It'd be really cool. Alright, so, Aquila Stretch Home by Eleonora. Free to download if you are one that you like to have a home, but... Maybe you don't consider yourself that good at decorating. Maybe give this one a shot, see what you think. I think she did a fantastic job. Alright, thanks for watching.